Well, the fencing went up today at the Honda Grand Prix track in St. Petersburg. The work comes just two days after a crash. Injured 33 fans at the Daytona International Speedway. Our John Thomas has been looking into safety measures at the track in St. Pete and joins us now with what he found out. John? Are you amazed that no one was killed? Very. I'm shocked. Tim Johnson was right there at Daytona when things fell apart and car parts came crashing over and through the fence and down on spectators. When we left there, I was sending out some texts and I said, I'm sure there's two confirmed dead. The issue at Daytona brings up the question of track safety. And with the Honda Grand Prix, a showcase spectator event right here in St. Pete, we have to find out just how safe the track is right here. We have four basic components to our safety system. For Tim Ramsberger, the president of the Honda Grand Prix of St. Petersburg, safety starts with the build-out. You've got the concrete barriers, you've got the poles, you've got the catch fence. 20,000 feet of steel reinforced concrete, 44,000 feet of chain link fencing, and multiple high strength cables. Cabling is actually what will keep a race car inside the track and keep the public safe. And in areas where there might be more of a chance of a serious accident, like a corner, they have 12,000 tires to build tire walls. Placed uh, between the track, the wall, and the public. So we okay, have big, a number big of... Big safety zone there, then. Big safety zone. Even so, though, in the shadow of what happened in Daytona, Ramsberger knows... You can't guarantee that you're never going to incur something like that. And race fans like Johnson agree. Anything can happen at any time, and it did. Just a fluke, one in a million. And here is that fencing that went up today, the cables that went up, all these poles went up too. From turn nine all the way down to turn 10, that's about a half a mile of fencing that went up today. And the idea is pretty simple. It's all about safety. Keep the drivers on that side of the cage safe and keep the rest of us on this side of the cage just as safe.